Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here. Please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on. So you don't miss out the next episode of Brockton County in Ontario theme city. And make sure to hit the like button too. The like button helps the channel a lot. We are following our uh, new red tram, which is, I guess, code for our super, super long trams. Uh, because our other super long tram is red. Uh, this one runs from the waterfront all the way to the zoo. And uh, we're following this because it goes right through the heart of an area that we built up last episode. And, uh, you know, I don't feel like I don't do this enough, these uh, tram introductions. Um, but this is our university where we are right now. Last episode, we did some medium density building, and that was fantastic. It really filled in a lot of space. And I decided we are going to do that again, but in a different area. It's a really important aspect of the city to have a transition zone from your downtown to the suburbs. Um, lots of times when people play city skylines, uh, what happens is it just goes from high density to low density. So trying to make a transition zone is really tricky. And, uh, you know, using a couple tools that we went over last episode, which we'll also go over on this episode. So if you missed last episode, it's probably going to be in a, in a little card at the top right, like right around now, or maybe in a few seconds. So you can go back and watch that or, or, or don't because they're two separate videos that we're going to be building in a completely different area. I'll show what we did last episode and then we'll hop right into something else. Uh, this build, we're going to use some more unique buildings as well. Last build we used, oh, is this Jackson's or Mackenzie Square? It is Mackenzie Square. Wow, this looks awesome coming into it. Uh, yeah, this is the last time I was able to use the courthouse as the main uh, building in the area. Oh, wow, this area looks amazing. I'm, I'm just gonna toot my own horn for the first time. This looks really nice. I'm, I'm proud of this. Uh, anyways, let's hop out of it and let's look at it from the sky. So here we are. Mackenzie Square, beautiful. We have the courthouse. I Again, I think I said this last time. I don't think I've ever used the courthouse in a build before. So, interesting. Um, anyways, so we won't touch on anything else. I know that there's some gaps still, uh, but this is kind of what we're gonna be looking at doing around here too. So we have, we have a park, Mackenzie Gardens. It can technically get to the next level, which is nice. Uh, it's got everything you need. It's looking for, this building is looking for some workers. That's fine. Uh, it's got some high density buildings, some, some that are taller than others, uh, but nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, I haven't gone back and made a lot of these high rises historically yet, but I will because that's the whole point of this, um, which we'll get to. So where are we going to build our next medium density transition zone? Well, right over here. This area has been screaming at me to build in it for a long time. So it's right beside the university, like prime location. It's right beside the, the city's library, prime location. This, this beautiful synagogue, prime location. I think this is a museum. Ah, it's, and here's the mosque that we were mentioning last episode. Fantastic. There's even a bike lane going right down the middle of it and right into the university. Uh, the transit out of here, fantastic. Tram line here, tram line here. Uh, not much else going on down the south, but, but maybe we can touch on that. So, it's already got a bit of transition happening down in here, but it definitely needs some more. And that's what we'll be looking at uh, doing today. Um, and if we have time, I'll add in something special, which I hope we can. So, uh, yeah, medium density transition to something special, and that something special is a sports stadium, if we can figure it out. But if not, it'll be in an episode next week. So, yeah, I'm not going to dilly-dally anymore. Let's look at how we're doing things. So here's the collector. Here's a collector it's surrounded by collectors. Not, the, not this necessarily. So I think we need a couple of roads off of it. Uh, same, same with this one. This one's pretty good. I think we're ready to build in, in here. Uh, but this area is going to be a bit higher density, I think, than otherwise so let's look at our districts here so we don't have any districts along here oh this is because it's a park oh this is east batherston okay so east batherston uh, needs to be broken up a little bit and that's what we're going to do we're going to take out this whole square out of east batherston and i am going to create a new district 
let's do that. So Thornton Park. Uh, if you feel like naming Thornton Park, please leave a name suggestion down below. Uh, I will choose one of them. And I'm sorry if I don't choose your suggestion, but uh, you know, it's because there were some other great suggestions and all the suggestions are great. So please leave any suggestions you have in the comments down below. But uh, we'll take Thornton Park down into here. I think we'll take Thornton Park right along here as well. And yeah, we'll cut off East Bathurston a little bit uh, and leave it at kind of this along the rails. And I'll try not to build outside of that. And this is the Holly District, which we haven't built at uh, yet either. Okay. Well, let's take a look at getting some, or uh, sorry, the, the main feature in of this build. Uh, so there were a couple things I wanted to get in this build, and one of them in particular, I think it's right here, right here, Friendly Neighborhood Park. It's a cute little park, right? And why haven't we had this in our city yet? Well, I've been saving it for a little, for a certain build, but, uh, you know, I don't think there's any better place than right across from this beautiful synagogue. So I'll place it right here. Look at that. Plus, look at look at how this this sits. So we move it over a little bit so it's more centered. There are some great path connections right through here. It's like it's meant to be along a collector. Whoa, jumpy. So that's what we'll do. We'll get this to connect in right there, and right. Here. Whoa, not over there right over here all right and then if we want to let's see how the road network plays out uh, but we can connect off of here as well and that's what we'll probably be doing um, okay so let's look at getting in some road networks now alrighty so uh, if you saw last episode this episode's gonna be rather similar and um, why are we doing two similar episodes so close together well you may notice that this is episode 95. Well, episode 95 is pretty close to another milestone episode that is coming up. And that milestone episode is going to be special. And I want to finish the city off in multiple locations uh, before we, we get out that way. Okay, this doesn't need to be here. So I'm going to just move the bus stop. Bus stops. Zzz, apparently, holy cow. Okay, Peter Street. We'll push that, push that over here, and this one over here. Okay. I'm then going to take this road out, and then we are going to drag this road right, right across. I shouldn't have done that. So I'm just thinking about. What else I'm doing in this episode? Okay, scratch these. I was just chatting away with y'all and I got carried away. Okay, anyways, uh, so we got this friendly neighborhood park in here and what else better to back on to a friendly neighborhood park than some high density residential? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> just thought it was funny. Uh, so why are we doing high density residential? Well, uh, you know when you're watching like I don't know your living, your personal living situation, but uh, you know when you're watching like a movie, I'm just gonna try to take this as, as a bit of an example. And uh, there's high rises through here and there's always like a, a park right near the high rises that people love to hang out at. That's kind of what I'm envisioning this little park as being. It's a friendly neighborhood park. Let's turn off our guidelines and let's get a nice path right up here and we'll bring it in a bit farther. Okay, let's turn our guidelines back on and let's connect up just like that nice yeah so um, I'm thinking maybe we can get like uh, the gazebo right here oh darn I hate how you can't just place them in it's okay I will just make it forested and we'll fill in the rest of the park with some extra trees okay yeah these buildings are great oh no 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 Thornton Park Cannot be a, a European themed uh, build. It has to be an international theme build because that is the theme of the area that we're going for. And okay, this building in particular is exactly what I'm looking for. 
It has a bit of character, as in it looks like it's trying to be a European building. And perhaps it's an older building in the city. So I know that's a European building from the episode, or from the, the theme pack, but these ones I don't like so much, especially on a corner. Come on. I don't mind one of these types of buildings, but three of them? No, 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 no. That one doesn't really work either. So I'm being, pre I'm being pretty picky in this situation because uh, I want to keep a lot of these buildings as historical. All right, so we also have this building here. This is also rather commanding. Uh, it'd be a great place to live around. However, this is trying to be, we're trying to make this a bit of a residential hub, aren't we? Whoa. So let's take a peek at some of the zoning we have going on here. So we're really lacking zoning here because we've taken a lot of this up with some schools and stuff. Uh, and we have some residential over here, some commercial. So a majority of this, I suspect, should be zoned, especially over here, as high density. And we'll just literally just throw it in. So we have a high school over here. It should be pretty full. Yeah, it is. So we can look at kind of holding off on another high school for a little while. Let's look at the high schools. That's elementary schools. It's just that one, right? Okay, so there's an elementary school here. It's pretty full, but we could probably get, get another one soon. And this one's also pretty full too. Alrighty, that's totally fine. So we're waiting for this to pop up. Uh, we can definitely do with getting uh, some more parks through here and whatnot. But uh, you know, I was talking about like having a, a centerpiece feature with the unique buildings. And this building kind of does it for us. So I'm not, uh, not gonna look too much more into that. But there's a couple other ones that I want to get at. I, I'm, I'm going back and forth with a high interest tower because I think it would be a fantastic piece to add in here or my other thought is down here, but I'm not going to get too carried away with it. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to throw it out there. Um, let's see, there, I think there's another one I'm, I, I wanted to add it. So I'm just going to take a quick scroll through. Ah, the, the inner arena is one that I wanted to add in. But I, I thought, I don't know if we've added it in before. We have a bunch of arenas out this way, but it is a pretty cool building. I don't know, anyway, this isn't the right spot for it. Uh, okay, so let's just make sure we're not missing one, any of them out. And there are some of these that are blocked out. Uh, we will be working on getting these in at some point uh, in the future, we'll see. Uh, the transport tower is a cool building. Uh, it does stick out and it does add a lot to an area. If you can get it to work, it's great, but uh, it needs to be kind of like its own thing. It doesn't work that great in the middle of a city in my experience, but right here actually is a pretty good area. It's right beside the two transit hubs too. Yeah, let's actually place it in right here. Yeah, just the way the building sits, like there's parking lots right alongside of it, it just doesn't make sense to me. It, like, how can you just place it on a road like this? I think we're going to, but we're going to try to add to it. So we have a stop right here. And I'm thinking people that want to transfer will transfer from here and want to walk all the way over there. So let's give them a path and a reason to do so. So let's give them actually a good path. So let's, uh, let's, let's start right here and take it right through here. Nice. And now this gives us the option of getting a whole other dimension in here. Something like that. And then we can connect right across here. I think this would be a great spot, if no controller will allow us, for a crossing. Alrighty. So we're adding density, but we're also giving space for people, pedestrians. Yeah, this is, this is just, this asset is just, the, the, the building itself is awesome. The floor of the building, like the ground, is just atrocious. Uh, so, seeing as this is bugging me so much, uh, I forgot about an asset I got a little while ago. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. Uh, spiral underground parking. And this is for large, I think we might need the large one. I don't know, I don't know how it works, to be honest. Everyone. 
Oh, because I've never used it. But perhaps we get this over here. And it can kind of be like the underground parking for the transit building and for this building here. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Plus, we'll be able to get a crossing over here too, which would be great for... Oh, I'm fan that's fantastic that it snaps in like that. Okay, Briar Rose... Briar Rose Bridge. That's weird that it's a bridge. But uh, I don't know how it works. But I saw Biffa use it once. <laughs> if that says anything, I don't know. Uh, anyways, let's keep the game going. And uh, now on top of that, we have crossing us over here, which allow people on this side to go over here and transfer if they, if they want to, even though there's another good transfer point right here. But now we might be able to take this one out. I don't think so, though, because it's, it's doing really good. All right, so we got that in place. Uh, this is still Thorn Park, right? That it is. Uh, let's add more office space through here then. There we go. Then let's bring another path connection down here. So this could be like almost acting like a bit of a, a central park, if you will, kind of thing. Like a central thoroughfare uh, area. Not really a central park because that is actually an asset in the game, if you didn't know. Uh, it is an asset that I've been trying to place in the city, and I don't think it's going to work for this build. But you never know. We might be able to find it uh, in another build. Nice. Let's see if we can try to do something similar on this side. Let's take it out. Should go right across from here. Something's off with the grids, but that is actually fine with me. Because we shouldn't make sure, we shouldn't make it, you know, exactly the same. Alrighty, so now let's look at zoning in here. So I think it would be just fantastic to live along here, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's actually uh, extend it out. Take backsies. Uh, let's uh, let's grab this here, and I'll connect up there, and then let's connect up right here, and we'll connect up right here, and then we'll connect up right here. So you know, lots of different path connections, and I mean, I know it will look ugly if I connect up here, but I really want to. So I think what we'll do is we'll just bring this back. And then we'll have to do the same thing right here. Alrighty, and then we'll just use move it. This would have been a great opportunity to have like a city park added in here, but that's okay. Okay, so uh, I'm thinking we're gonna fence this off. Let's dive, oh, not that, what am I thinking? Dive into that, let's turn our guidelines off. And let's fence this off. Nice. Oh, that building is absolutely fantastic. It's exactly the kind of building that we're looking for. We have a standout building here because, you know, it's the city's transit building or something. I don't know. And we get a lot of these cooler, smaller density buildings, but. Well, medium density is what I'm calling them. Um, did I add the proper policy into Thornton Park? I don't think I did. I, I'm, I'm very, very, I apologize. High rise bands are key to a medium density build. I guess I just figured I mentioned it because I mentioned it in the last medium density build. Um, but your buildings will not get up to level five if you have, at least that's my understanding. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comment section. But what you can do is you can pick and choose these lower level buildings, especially this one. Like that's a fantastic building for kind of the theme. Same with this one. This is the same one, so I'll, I'll let it grow. But uh, this is these are level one buildings and they look amazing. Like these like six, seven story high rises are exactly the type of buildings I'm looking for 
uh, in a medium density build. Like think about the edge of your city. If you live in a city or you've ever been to a city that has kind of a transition out of its downtown into the suburbs, these buildings are everywhere. I'll stop because I'll, I'll go back over it uh, afterwards. All right, so let's just get a strip of low density uh, commercial and then we'll dive back into the high density. Okay, so uh, now that we've all done all this, uh, this is gonna be a bit more of like an office park, right? So let's just make sure that that is reflected. I'm not sure how that's gonna really play out. Uh, I think we'll go with some commercial right here. And we'll go with commercial right through here. Alrighty. And I think we'll get a commercial building here, 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 and then we'll go just like that. All right, and then the rest of it is going to be high density, res, high density residential. Yes, that is the correct word, Stephen. Um, okay, so I wanna get a little bit of a playground in here too. So I'm thinking we get the playground. Oh, that bugs me so much that I can't go on that. But I think we get the playground right here and then we just de-zone this little bit. And then we can also just get our normal parks, you know? So I think we'll go with... Which one is it? Japanese garden could be interesting. Ah, the little carousel park. These things are really cool, but uh, that's not what I was looking for. Ah, the dog park. There we go. So, oh, it's just a bit too big. Okay, I can't believe it's not letting me place that in there. I need this dog park to fit in here. No! Work with me, game. I have the Parkify mod. It's, that mod has always given me issues. I don't know what it is about it. Okay, let's uh, change out this one. Yeah, there we go. It's a bit off, but that's okay. All right, so this is going to be a really cool, oh, that's a fantastic building to be the centerpiece. This one is too big. I will have to delete this one. This one is fantastic. So I, I hope I'm kind of showcasing kind of the idea behind medium density. Um, this is probably the tallest building I would want in here. And the fact that it's in the middle is perfect because it will really draw the eye. So anything that's taller than that one, I'm going to delete. This one looks, looks like it might be. Looks like it's the same building. So I will delete this one. All right, and then uh, I'm thinking I just want to get like another parking lot in here too. So it's got a parking lot. Let's just throw that right here. Uh, nice. And let's get another parking lot right here. Yeah, I mean, I think that's good enough just to kind of add some concrete to this built to this little area here. All right, so we didn't add any schools in. We didn't add any libraries or anything like that. Uh, let's check transit really quickly. So we have a bunch of transit going north and south. We don't have much going east and west. So I'm thinking we get a bus that loops from here across and brings you down to something over here. I, I know we haven't done this area yet, so I think I'll just have to leave that uh, for now, but let's, let's get a little bus. So I'm thinking it'll get, it'll stop on the roundabout a couple times. So uh, it might cause some issues, it might not. We'll see. Got a couple stops through here. Um, and I'll just get it to loop around. Oh, actually we should get a stop right here and then I'll loop around this way. Is 
just boarding the trams with that. Alrighty, get a bus stop out there. And then let's get a stop right here. You can transfer there. Alrighty, so got a new little bus line. It'll help a lot of people get to this area. And then I guess the walk transfer point to this line isn't that bad. Uh, but that'll help out a lot. Um, okay, so now that we've kind of added in the higher density volume part of this, let's look at transitioning down to a lower density side of things now. So this road here, which is Todd Street, goes pretty well right into the city. Todd Street, and this Todd must have been a famous person. If you have a name suggestion for the city or for the street of Todd, uh, let me know. Uh, otherwise, the Todd Street will remain. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty—it's pretty important street. It even goes into here, and we can name this street like Todd Street North or something like that. This crime happening at the playground, everyone. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's look. So I'm thinking right here will have to be a bit of a higher density. So we'll add some commercial in here, and then high density residential. Fantastic. And uh, okay, uh, we have about 15 minutes. Um, should we dive into the stadium? I think we will. I think we will. Let's do it. Because uh, I really want to do, do a stadium build before we get into episode 100. And I just don't want to force it to like force that in to my plans for the week because I'm not sure how long the airport's going to take. Alrighty, so um, we have the track and field. We don't have the basketball, but that's okay. Do we? No, we have the uh, aquatic center. Uh, the basketball arena, you know, the Raptors are a big thing in Toronto, but uh, they're the only basketball team in Canada. Uh, I've often used the basketball arena as like a hockey arena if you're playing a vanilla, but we have the city's hockey arena down here. We also have a secondary arena over here. And we're going to get a third and a fourth, maybe, because, you know, it's Canada and hockey. But uh, one thing we haven't done is added a baseball stadium. Now there's... Holy cow, where am I? Uh, football wouldn't... A football stadium of this size wouldn't exist in a themed city of this size. If you're curious... Type in on Google Toronto Argonauts. That's the CFL team for Toronto, which is the Canadian football team, uh, league. Uh, different than American football. It's awesome. Both footballs are good. <laughs> uh, it's just different. Three downs instead of four. Uh, bigger field, too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this, this would exist in the West. You'll see this in our next city. This wouldn't exist here. The, the Toronto Argonauts play out of a, out of a soccer stadium. Uh, they used to play it at the Sky Dome, where the Blue Jays play. But I think this is a better area, and I'm thinking we can make this a, a bit of a, a fun little story, as in this is like the Blue Jays, Toronto Blue Jays farm team or something like that. So that's what we'll do. And I want to get it off of this road over here, and I want to back it up to this road but obviously you leave a little bit of space. So I'm thinking we leave about here. So that means right around Drake Boulevard, we'll need a road. Just place my finger on my screen because I just don't want to miss, misplace it. I think that was accurate. Let's see, let's get, let's see. Perfect. Alrighty, so. I actually wasn't really planning on doing the stadium today. That's fine. So since this isn't a part of the university, this is a city team, and it is the Brockton County Broncos. I don't know, can we change the name? I, it's been a long time since I've done this. Costing us a ton of money. I don't know if we can. Because that's, oh my God. That's uh, security, right? Yeah, we need security. I mean, uh, we don't we don't need transit. That's fine. Our transit's fine through here. 
Uh, let's make it uh, an even 20 to get into the stadium. And let's see the building spawn point because that is important. Let's bring it in. All right, so uh, let's look at the stadium here. So it's all fenced off. There's no way to get in. But home runs can, uh, can, can bleed out of here. <laughs> so uh, we need to get a certain type of fence in here. Oh, a certain phone a person named Siri thought I was talking to them. Oh, no. Shut up. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, let's make this a fence. And what we're going to do is we're just going to bring this right across. Oh, is it not fence? Is it line? Oh, it's clipping. Okay, I see. There we go. And let's see if I can get this to snap in in the exact right spot. Fantastic. Okay, all right. I guess I should have just turned Prop and Tree Anarchy on, shouldn't have I? Oh, it is on. All right, well, that's fine. We'll leave it at that for now. Um, let's see, is it even? No, we, we added one or two too many. Yeah, I think that's fine. And, oh wow, look how much this building cuts off, eh? Um, that's fine, since we have Prop and Tree Anarchy on. Uh, let's turn to this, and we're gonna get tree tree path through here and what we'll do is we'll get it to come right through here alrighty now that is right in the way so I think I might have to just take the trees off of this part okay and let's take the trees back on go uh, I guess we'll downgrade this to no trees alrighty fantastic so there's a bit of a hill here that's totally fine though uh, let's look at getting some more of these ball fences in though okay I thought proper tree energy was screen collision off too I'll uh, spend time and I'll actually reline these up if I remember. There we go, and then I'll take it from here down into here. Fantastic. Now let's get uh, some trees in this little area here. and I'll leave uh, the rest open. Uh, but that's not enough parking in my opinion. So my thinking is that the stadium would have bought over like the this area over here and would have uh, added parking to it. So let's add in a bit of a parking lot. Yeah, I mean, this is a minor league baseball team, right? The city of Brockton, so, yeah, Brockton. Uh, has a major hockey team, but it has a minor baseball team, and uh, it's got some major sports teams as well. Uh, university sports teams. But uh, I think that's a pretty cool little area. Alrighty, so let's stop talking, Steven, and let's get building. Uh, let's grab this. We're going to go all the way over here. Let's say we grab this one. Yeah. I'll take it to about here, and then let's grab this, plop it in. Same thing. Okay. Then I want to grab this, this, and this. Let's see if we can just scooch this down. Yeah, I think that's probably good. 
Let's just use the pavement tool. Alrighty. Now let's uh, go back to here and grab this. Okay, so we'll start on this side. Perfect. Now let's just place that all in and then let's just see if we can get uh, one of these in here. Okay, we can. Perhaps I should have sought a removal of this little... Oh my gosh. These things are the banes of my existence. But we got it to work. Oh. Okay, let's go down to this size. There we go, and now let's get some handicap parking. Alrighty, and we'll get a couple more. And we'll just finish it off with two of these on both of them. There we go. So, you know, I'm sure there's probably handicap parking in here, but that's okay. Alrighty, so um, I'm thinking we can do two things with this area here. We can make it a bit of a plaza, or we can just add buildings to it. I'm thinking plaza, because that's awesome. Alrighty, so let's just turn the brush size up a little bit, and we'll pave in this whole area here. So, you know, I really don't know what the title of this video is gonna be. I'm thinking of that right now, because I really didn't think about building a stadium today. But it's pretty cool, isn't it? Cool little build. Because we added a bunch of housing through here too, which was my original idea. But I'll stop talking. I'll stop talking here. So let's, because uh, I'm wasting my time. Uh, let's grab some of these paths. Let's turn our guidelines off. And we'll turn collision back on. And what I'm doing here is I'm just getting it so people will be able to walk through. Because Better make sure I don't delete anything. Nice. Because now it'll look more lively when people are uh, in here, right? So I'm thinking maybe we can get a couple storefronts, especially right here in this little corner here. Uh, right through here too. I'll start some in the game now. Um, and right along here, let's make it like a bit of like a market kind of, uh, kind of vibe. So uh, I'm thinking places where people can go grab uh, a beer or two before the game, you know? That's too big, that plaza. Um, where is it? Holy cow, my brain. There it is. Paradox Plaza is too big. That's too big. Uh, is the zoo plaza too big? Yeah, the amusement park one is just not what I'm looking for. Uh, not the zoo restrooms. Zoo cafe. There we go. We got the zoo cafe through here. Let's look at getting the amusement park cafe. Probably wouldn't work. Uh, so let's grab this cafe here. Okay, we'll place that in here. Let's just scoot it over. Cool little place to grab a little bevy. Oh, that is exactly the building I was hoping for. Alrighty. And now let's grab, go back into here and let's get some, a couple food trucks. Uh, there we go. Let's, uh, let's line these food trucks up a bit more in the middle. And these guys know their gig. Uh, we get uh, maybe a, a soda stand over here. This guy right behind. Let's get two of these. Nice. Oh, I think I should probably grab uh, this pathway. And let's get another connection up right here like that. And then here like that. And then let's get another one. Pretty much these are just meant so people swing by. Don't like this building. Love this one. 
Okay, and I wonder if we can get a couple more storefronts through here too. Because that saves me time too. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see what pops up, but uh, let's get some picnic tables through here. Okay, that can't be two of the same. Oh, pfft. Oh, pfft. I did it again, holy cow. I'm rushing around here. Okay, let's save that one because it looks like a corner store. It's fine. Uh, oh, water. Alrighty. And let's get uh, some trees through here as well. So let's go with some bigger mature trees. Let's go in a line. Surround it like that. We've got a couple of these smaller ones around too. We'll go into a single. These ones look like uh, more like bushes. Okay, and then let's come back over here with our forest brush tool and just to add a bit of je ne sais quoi to it, you know? Okay, fantastic. Lots of people are flowing into this building, into this area here. Uh, we're back on this pop soda thing, aren't we? Okay, wine and liquor? Why not? I don't know what this guy is. Convenience store? That sounds good with me. I haven't even seen it yet. But, uh, you know, I think we could add in a bit more detail through here. But this guy? Drugstore? Sure. Add some detail, you know? Another drugstore? It's fine with me. Uh, let's now go back over here. Let's go into our props and let's find the last ones of This area. Let's grab this newspaper stand add in a bit more detail to this one And then let's take the grill and let's add the grill out over here Alrighty, and let's go back into here. Let's go to Get our picnic tables. And let's add in a couple more right throughout here And uh, yeah, this is just for you know, people to come and sit before they the, before the game. And uh, we have two bus lines coming through here. We have a tram line. Uh, tram lines are also pretty close by, but I think we need to fill this in and then we'll call it a day. So uh, let's check out our police coverage. Uh, it's fine. Let's check out our fire coverage. It's not the best. Uh, medical coverage. I think the hospital's nearby, isn't it? Yeah, it's right here. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, all right, then I think we're good. Let's get a couple taxi stands, though. And, uh, oh, you know what? Taxi stands would've been great in here, wouldn't they? Okay, let's place one down and let's move it. Let's see if it'll work right in here. Oh, no. Okay, and we'll copy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Look at this, people are people are using the paths like they're meant to. Yeah, this is great, great little build here. Uh, let's just finish zoning in this this area here. Uh, we'll just grab a street because we have run out of time now. Uh, it started off being, um, I am running out of time. To time is up, so I will just drag it right to here. We have a little path connection through here. That is fine. Let's get some commercial buildings right along here. And then uh, I guess we'll get to high density residential through here. And again, so this has kind of become like a bit of a, a medium density build, but we also built a stadium. So sorry for kind of tricking you at the beginning, I guess. But I mean, that, that transport tower was a big asset to the, or a big add to the city. Um, 
and we also built a baseball diamond, but I think I feel like I have to make a majority of the episode was medium density. But the baseball stadium is pretty cool. So let's try and get them both in the screenshot here. Yeah, I think that'll work. Alrighty. Whoa. Talk to you soon, folks. Have a wonderful day. And, and weekend, because it's the Friday episode. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. Peace out. Oh, and uh, and watch uh, watch uh, out for GeoGuessr on the weekend. And happy Halloween. Woo.